Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello YouTube, I am Ode Yusuf doing a screencast for the Locker No YouTube channel on behalf of Chris Perillo. Now, have you ever wondered what a site looked like back in the day before sites were as big as they are now? Like Google or LockerGnome.com, Yahoo.com. Have you ever just had that feeling, you know, what was it like when my parents were on the internet, if they ever were? So t today I'm going to show you a website that shows you that. And here it is. It's called, it's archive.org slash web slash web dot php. This is the inter from an internet archive website and it's called the Wayback Machine. Here it is right here. And basically all you do is type in the site right here and then hit the take me back button. So first off, we'll try google.com. Now this isn't going to give you all the um, pictures or words that were there during that time, but it's going to give you a sense of what it was like. And then some of these, like with the stars here, the, um, yeah, the stars, it says when the site was updated. For example, Google will have a lot of that stuff because of all the different um, holiday special things they put on. So let's look at Google on November 11th, 1998. Welcome to Google. This is it. Search engine prototype might work some of the time. Prototype that is much more up to date. Now you can go within the actual thing and mess around with it. So let's try May 10th, 2000. All right, let it load up. And then here, you see this is my, one of the examples. It doesn't have all pictures and stuff. And then what you would do is enter your search term here. You can choose a um, variety of languages. Goes global with addition 10 languages. Browse web pages only. And here you can see the normal Google search and I'm feeling lucky. Let's just Google Locker Gnome. Let's Google that. And you, you'll see not an archive but it gives you a sense of how you would type then, but it's not going to actually take you to this site. So that's Google. And then, you know, you can, the latest up to date, they don't have it for 2009 yet, but, and let's look at the latest one, which is August 22nd of 2008. Let it load up here. And then it says Beijing 2008. The picture isn't loaded yet, but you can tell this one was during the uh, Summer Olympics. And then you have Gmail and stuff up here, iGoogle, sign in, stuff like that. And that, that's just one example you can basically do with any site. Let's look at LockerGnome.com. Oops. And then here you go. You can look at it up until April 13th, 1997. I'll let it load up once again. See, there's a lot of different dates on here. And then it tells you right here the date and how many pages we have of it. It's taking a while. Let's try um, February 11th, 2001. <laughs> and you can see, like, here it is right here. There's Chris Pro and the famous Locker Gnome geek icon thing. And here it is. It's a very cool site and very interesting. And you can see up here how it works. Web.archive.slash web gives you a number and then the website itself. So that's an example of the Wayback Machine. Um, links for this will be in the description. It's a very cool site. Check it out. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you guys later.